All right, so so the Wi-Fi popped up. All right, so go ahead and uh, punch in the punch in a password on that. All right, all right. You want to and see then, if we can yeah, connect? Yeah, then let's let's go ahead and see if we can connect. So yes, Level. cam, cam, cam. Yeah. All right, watch it. Is it synchronizing? There you go. All right, so we got both views. All right, so hold that thought for a minute. We're gonna do a little training video here on uh, how to do the infant air trach, okay? So uh, the, George, is gonna, George is gonna actually teach a medical student who's, they're going into internal medicine, right? Internal medicine. Okay, so Chris, uh, we have the air trach set up here. So you're gonna wanna choose the size that's appropriate for a neonate or a small infant, which would be the gray, gray colored one. Um, so that one can um, hold ET tubes. So I think that goes from 2.5 to 3.5. Right, okay. Uh, so we actually already have it hooked up. So there's your direct video screen that you can use to directly visualize. But we also have it hooked up through um, Wi Fi and wireless to an iPad, which is good for educational purposes. So right. everyone in the room. So, so that's it. actually the Wi Fi right there right. Uh, that you have in your hand. So, um, so we're going to actually, now we actually have a. a uh, this, the mannequin, the, the mannequin, the mannequin, uh, or the sim kid, whatever it is, but it has a very small um, oral airway. So this would be a, this would be a good one for you to um, practice on. Um, so so George, go ahead and then um, show him the uh, pluses. I mean, show show him how to uh, uh, put the ET tube in. Okay. Um, as far as set, setting up your equipment. Okay. So you can grab your ET tube. So first, you got to lubricate it, right? You can lubricate it with a little bit of jelly here. All right. So we just actually, I used it for the first time yesterday. We just we just loaded a uh, couple of these on the cart, a ped side and an infant size, mm -hmm. yesterday, and then we had a four month old pediatric resuscitation come in. We used it for the first time. I got I got this thing actually lets you do video of the intubation. It was a beautiful intubation. It was just like the easiest thing in the world with this. And actually I talked to the resident who got the airway. She said it was very simple and got it pretty easily without any real problems. Yeah, I mean it, it had liked it. it had the it had the tube sitting right at the cords. Right. So then um, grab the air track with your hand and put it within the, the channel that's specifically designed to hold the ET tube. Yeah. So advance it down all the way and, to and, the and that uh, that ET tube has had a stylet in it, so it's it's already shaped to so, look. Uh, so I think you stop right there. Maybe pull it back just a little bit. Pull back slightly. Yeah. Okay. And then it's next, okay. you're going to go ahead and turn the air track on. So it's that orange button, on, or the big button on the side, and wait 30 seconds for the. Uh, so it's 30, 30 to second, 30 to 60 seconds to 60 that seconds. it takes, and and it'll be a blinking light. All right. So this is this is an actual. This is not a demo one. This is an actual tube. Uh, there the, and so. So it heats, basically there's a heating element, right? Right, right. Go ahead, I'm stealing your thunder. I don't have any thunder to steal. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it heats up um, so to prevent fogging. So, um, right, so the change of temperature from going the outside into the oil furnace. So uh, I think it'll blink when it's ready. Right? It'll stop blinking and become a solid light, so it's about 30 to 60 seconds. Chris, do you have any experience in pediatric airways? Uh, or no. airways in general? Are you secretly an ENT attending that just came down here? Uh, I've intubated dummies and uh, non-human primates. <laughs> okay. Non-human primates? Yeah. Wow, that's hey, I think, I think your light source is, is ready. It's steady. Okay. It's steady. So um, this is a little bit different than direct uh, laryngoscopy. So in this one, um, so you, you can put it, hold it in your left hand. Okay. Use your right hand to stabilize, you know, like to get into position. And maybe you can put it and, and actually, you're supposed to be holding the the actual air trach and not the not your Wi-Fi. Right. So hold put it your hand. Blade. Oh, and don't let it slide. Okay. Did you lock that on? Because you actually have to lock the. There we go. Okay. okay good. All right. All right. So now, um, <clears throat> different from uh, conventional DL, where you're going to go in and sweep the tongue, you're actually going to go in from the midline. Okay. And, I mean, you will still go in, but you're just going to go in from the midline, and then once you go in, immediately start looking at the screen to try to visualize the, uh, the, uh, the, the glottis. Yeah, the so, so glottis. that's exactly it. So to prevent injury, you, you watch, you look directly at the mouth as you're inserting it, but then after that, you start looking at your screen, or if you don't have the Wi-Fi screen, you're looking right into the eyepiece, right. and so you don't get confused on the anatomy as you're moving it on through. 
And the, the big thing to watch out for, though, is that you don't trap the tongue and push the tongue back right into your epiglottis, okay, into your airway. So, but this has a natural curvature um, that will follow the tongue. And so it's got this endotracheal tube that's in an endotracheal tube channel. And, um, and I think that's the beauty of this tool. I, I love the CMAC, I like the, the GlideScope, but um, once on a little pediatric oral cavity, you try and get the endotracheal tube in there, uh, as well as the, um, the, the MAC, the blade and all that, you run out of space. This has the tube right there. Okay, so I'm just looking at it externally. Okay, now what you may have to do, see, see how bright that is? That's a good teaching point. Hit the peds. Okay. So hit, hit the button that says peds because you're going to need to dim it a little bit. See, that's much better. Ah, see that? Oh. Beautiful. So, it's advanced. So, what you, you can actually do it in two ways. So, you can do it like a Miller blade and um, lift, hook and lift that device. Or you can do it like a Macintosh, like a traditional Macintosh, where you're going to put it in the molecula and then lift. Um, structures to, to visualize the, the cords. Okay, so it looks like, uh, so do you feel like you have a pretty good visualization of the cords there? I do. Okay, so um, once you do, okay, so... I'll keep Okay, now wait. This this has this real strange. Yeah, there it is. This this has real top. strange anatomy there right there. there. That's uh, okay. So this is kind of like alien anatomy. <laughs> <laughs> alien anatomy is right. <laughs> so um, there there would that's what the cords would look like. Okay? So and typically in kids, it's very anterior, and sometimes it's uh, hard to visualize. So. so George, what happens if if uh, he can't get it? Um, so um, there are a couple approaches you can do. So if you advance the two. Well, so if your view is obstructed by mucus or blood, you can always suction and, and then re readjust your, your position. If you had try to advance the tube and you're finding that the angle of approach that the tube is going in is not optimal, you can also um, pull back or pull up on the blade. Right. Um, they they generally say don't don't readjust. Yeah, yeah, don't lift. The the one the one thing that you, that's that's unique about these. Um, this equipment is that the as the ET tube comes out, it first goes down, and sometimes you end up in the esophagus. So, uh, but but the next, exactly the next step that happens is the tube curves up. So it, it, once you lift the tube, lift the whole air trach up, then the tube is um, pulled out a little farther away from the cords, and and then you it'll the you can course it'll follow the natural course as the, the as the as the tube comes up. Okay. So Chris, do you want to go ahead and try to advance? So hold hold steady with your hand here. Use your right hand to advance the ET tube. It's kind of like a video game. So there you go. See the tip of it, and just advance, 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 and then try to get within. There you go. There you go. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. Perfect. Keep going. Keep going. Are you meeting a little resistance? I'm meeting some resistance. Okay, you can put a little bit more pressure in. Go some. ahead and just slide it right on in. Slide it right on in. Because you're right. There you oh. go. Okay, all right. Yeah. And keep going a little bit further to make sure it's in. All right, okay, so then now you, you can pretty confidently say it's in, and everyone else in the room can, we visualize that the tube is past the cords. So then um, um, stabilize the, the tube with your right hand. Don't. Yeah, Don't. stabilize the tube with your right hand. All right, and then pull it off the, the, the channel, right? Yeah. And then withdraw the air track out while you're stabilizing the tube. And at this point, in a real situation, RT would be here, nursing would be here, you know, um, to help you with the process. And just pull out smoothly. There you go. All right. Very good. Wow. Wow. So was this the first time you've ever tried to intubate, uh, even though it was a mannequin and a, a very good Okay. Hey, so 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 what happens though is that they've, they've, there's a couple papers out there said that when you run into this problem of with the newborns especially um, is that they said the workaround on this is you put a stylet in even though you know you notice we didn't do a stylet here they said you, if you put a stylet in that that keeps the curvature such that you can actually um, that that it actually prevents it from going down backwards behind the, the cords and into the esophagus. So, but um, beautiful job. That was that was great. First try. It's amazing. Yeah. Actually, that was very beautiful. Friendly. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. Neonates are typically some of the hardest, most challenging airways I've ever seen. Too, so. And you can use it without your i5 by looking in the i5. So the other way is to actually visually. So as you're going in, you can visually. It's just, it's the same thing. But everyone, you can look at it. And hey. this is. It, 
It's portable, it's reasonable, you don't need to hook it to any kind of power source initially for that. So, so um, you want to you want to demonstrate this this um, little object here. Um, so Actually, you may you may need to use my iPhone. What you do is you load your you can load your iPhone on on this. Um, then you but you're using a different app. There's two apps. We we just use the A360 Cam, and uh, so now we're going to do the AirTrack Mobile Mobile. All right. So um, so I'm going to take this, and I've already I've uh, that white line is is actually a marker for helping you kind of set it up. But so so basically, um, I've got. I've got my, uh, we can do the same thing with this, but see my view. Now, if it's not real focused, I can hit it and, and mm. focuses. I can move this around a little bit. Um, I say, hey, I'm getting ready to innovate. Let's, let's, re let's record. So you stop, start the record, stop, start and stop the record. And, um, and then, um, let me borrow that in and take it to from you for a second. Just go ahead and pull that baby out of there. You need to back to the picture. <laughs> All right, so see that? So it's just coming right out there. Wow. And uh, so I'm, I'm recording, like I said, but um, I'll stop the record. And uh, so they also have covers that that will go over this if you need like more of a sterile condition sort of thing. So your yucky old iPhone that's been in your pocket is is uh, protecting itself. That's basically that's basically it. So. See. Was that no, start again, resident. start again, start again. I didn't turn the camera on, so okay, go, go. Oh, you're. I'm terrible on this. Okay, go. <laughs> okay. okay, go. Okay, now what the resident said the other day was, um, you know, the resident could be up here, innovating, um, and the attendant could be at the foot of the bed, but he's just watching it on, on the screen. Yeah, so there's not so much so many people up here. And that's and that's what I did yesterday. I actually had my I had my iPad out. My iPhone, I'm sorry, my iPhone, I had the screen, I had the app up, and while she was doing the innovation, uh, I was watching my, my iPhone and watching where the cords were. So. Right, right. Yeah. Okay, okay, good. Okay. You guys don't mind being on YouTube, do you? I guess not. Okay. <laughs>